morning or well, happy Christmas morning. It's half seven. I've been awake for about an hour because Leo left for work at half six. Um, I've just sat in bed really trying to get back to sleep but it's not happening. So this is me up. It's half seven and I'm going to go have a shower. Hopefully that will make me a bit more human and then I will get back to you. So yeah, happy Christmas. As it is cold season going around at the moment, I'm going to take some multivitamins and bits to try and fight it off. So I've got a vegan multivitamin, um, what's the word for that? Yeah, that, and some flaxseed. So I'll take one each of these, and to go with it, I've got some mulled apple to be very, very festive. Feeling a lot more human now, so I've had my multivitamins and my juice. I'm just about to make myself some tea. Now, when I left work yesterday, although she knows I don't celebrate it, Big Boss Lady gave me um, a wee bag with some goodies, and in it was some tea. So let's have a look. And it was really sweet of her. So she got me some miso ginger um, salad dressing, some adamami beans, this coconut caramel. And she also picked me up these two teas, which is really, really sweet of her. So I'm going to try some of this Ceylon Extra Special. So I've got my little tea infuser and my favourite mug, which I've spoken about before. Um, I've got these cool little um, spoons. I got these from Bluebird and it's like the perfect one cup of perfect tea. So it just makes it a lot easier for measuring things out. It smells really lovely, this tea. Okay. And because I'm a heathen, I always have just a little bit of sugar. So I use like one cup of perfect matcha for my sugar, just so it's a little bit. This is what I do on a normal day off. Anyway, I just kind of pot around the flat doing various bits and bobs and getting stuff done. So, nothing too interesting right now. Now we get a bit more interesting. I'll show you this while my next cup of tea is brewing. I have made brownies. So these are just Oreo brownies. There's a recipe for these already on my channel, so I will link that below. Um, these are for the nurses on Leo's ward. And these are black cherry ones for me and Leo. Ooh, there you go. Look at that. Gooey. So I'm just going to pack two, rather than taking the whole lot, because otherwise we will eat the whole lot. So one each and I'll pop that with the rest of the lunch stuff and everything's ready to go for Leo's lunch um, these are the brownies that are all now packed up so they're ready to go the two for us that I put in a tub and this is going to be lunch so this is a tomato pate um, I'll do a recipe for this at some point it's not it's not quite there and I've not got a food processor so it's a bit of a pig to make so I will do that at some point but not today um, this is Leo's, he's got the black olives because he likes those, gherkins, pickled red pepper and some artichokes. I've got the same but with green olives. And to go with it we've got some cream crackers and some Melba toast and it's all being packed in our awesome J and Joy tote bag that we got from Paris. That's it at 11 o'clock. As you may have noticed I've not had breakfast yet. It's just because I'm not hungry. Um, Leo's lunch isn't until 2 o'clock, so I may get hungry before then, but the thing is I don't want to eat for the sake of it. I don't want to eat when I'm not hungry, so it's only a few hours. I'll be able to tide it over. So all the adulting has been done. All the lunch is packed. Everything's ready to go. So now is the time I can sit and chill and do what I like. So at the moment I am watching Bottom on Netflix. Gigi is chilling in front of the TV. And yeah, I've got some friends coming over at midday, so for the next hour, it's going to be me sitting watching Bottom. 
So my friends who came over, they don't celebrate Christmas either, so they were on their way somewhere else and popped in to drop off a sewing machine that I'm buying off of them because they're leaving the country um, and they need to get rid of things and I was looking for a sewing machine. Um, I've not filmed it because we all just sat and had tea and talked rubbish really, um, but here is the new sewing machine which is super exciting. Ta-da! This means I can try making my own clothes. Um, let's face it, it's just kind of t-shirts, like long t-shirts, which at the moment are falling apart. So I'll give it a go. It may work, um, it may not. I may have to rethink it, but I'm sure you will see how that goes. I am back from having lunch with Leo at the hospital and as you can see it's already pretty dark out. Um, Leo doesn't finish until half seven so I've got a little bit of time before I need to start making dinner. So I think I'm just going to sit and read my book to be honest. Um, I've got some more tea brewing and I'm just going to sit and have a chill. It is 6.30 and Leo finishes in an hour but I'm going to get started on cooking dinner because I'm going to go meet him because he's had a bit of a crap day. So I'm starting off with some defrosted frozen broccoli and what I'm doing is just putting it in a dry pan and so it chars and it gets nice and smoky. So that's step one for dinner. The next thing I'm going to do is get some bits ready. So I'm making Peking jackfruit or jackfruit in hoisin sauce um, like you would normally get from the Chinese takeaway with the little pancakes. So I'm doing that with jackfruit this time instead of like mock duck or Satan or something like that. So to go with it I'm going to do some cucumber and also some carrot. So there's all my cucumber and my carrot ready to go on the platter. Now while I've got the peeler out, I'm also going to make some poached pears. Because uh, Leo really likes these. So I've got four big pears here that I'm going to peel and slice in half and then cut out the core. So I've sliced the pear in half and I'm going to use my tea scoop just to get rid of that core in the middle. There you go, perfect. Then in this pan, I'm going to do it quickly before these two turn brown. I've got the mulled apple from this morning. I'm just going to put the last of that in there. And then I've got some sweet alcohol-free wine here. It's a white wine to pour on top. And what I'll do is I will put that on to simmer until they're soft. That's the broccoli nice and charred. So you can see it's got a nice charred bit. So I'm just going to put that on a plate. All of this is going to be eaten cold. So there is no worries about this sitting out and going cold while I go meet Leo. Next up while this pan is hot, I have got some jackfruit that I've broken up with some white onion. So it's jackfruit, white onion, and a little bit of garlic powder and some, what's the word I'm looking for? Chinese five spice, that's it. That's getting really nice and toasty now. So what I'm gonna do is put in a little bit of soy sauce and some sweetener. Again, this is just now going to go in a bowl and it will go cold um, in the next kind of half an hour and we can have it when Leo is back from work. Here's the platter all ready to go. I've put some sesame seeds in the middle for sprinkling over. Um, I've put it out the way so Gigi can't get it and now I'm off to go and get Leo. 
I'm walking the long way to meet Leo because I've just kind of sat on my bum all day. Um, it's so busy out here. Look at all the cars. I can't believe how many people are out, but it is still just across the road. Utterly miserable out. It's so wet and horrible, but I'm getting a few more steps in and trying to be a bit more healthy, which is no bad thing. Right, I've gone and picked up Leo and we're just about to eat dinner. I have put some of the miso ginger dressing that Anna got me on the broccoli. And instead of having the regular pancakes, we're going to be using these. So we've got the rice paper because sod going into town and buying more stuff at this time of year when we've got stuff like this in the cupboard to use. And we've got like a tub of water here to soak it and make the rolls. finished poached pears and what I've done is I've taken a ball of marzipan and just popped it in the holes there see as it is Christmas day and we're totally using this as an excuse we are going to open one of the Josephines so it comes in like this little tub like a real cheese not that it's not real cheese but you know what I mean and to go with it we've got some fig jam that Leo's parents brought us back from France when they were there so we have Josephine on Melba toast with fig jam it is quarter to 11 and we're just about to call it a night Leo's been working all day um, you've seen what I've been up to. Gigi's been asleep for most of it. So as two people that don't celebrate Christmas, well, one person who didn't really have a choice, this is what I've done today. There Happy you go. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. <laughs>